Good Saturday morning, September 25th, 2021. Hike day 52, leaving the Brassy Brook shelter. Camped out here last night. It was me and Captain Crust. Uh, my Sawyer squeeze bag got two giant holes in it. Thankfully she was here because she had uh, Aquamere tablets. So I was able to, well, the bag got a hole in it. Then I tried putting my filter on my water bottles and it wasn't making a seal. So the dirty water was running down the filter. So uh, I was kind of stuck not knowing what to do. Luckily she had some Aquamira tablets. So I was able to use that to somewhat disinfect the water to treat it. And then I had some Gorilla Tape. So last night I cleaned off the bag with rubbing alcohol and Gorilla Taped it pretty seriously. And it held up this morning so I was able to filter water for breakfast and I have a liter of drinking water right now. So that was good. It's a little chilly though. It's probably in the low 50s. It was a dry night last night. Oh, no view. I guess a little bit of view. Lion's head, 1,738 feet, and the moon just out back there, about them apples. A little bit of a view off this way. Oh my, oh my. See what I thought over there, I was like, that must be like a lake over there. I'm looking at my map, I don't see a lake. It's a freaking lake of clouds. Holy crap, holy crap, that is beautiful. Wow. As far as the eye can see, it is a lake of clouds. That is amazing. Look at that. Huh. Look at this little farm. The house is just in the clouds there. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Happy Saturday morning, everyone. Even the chipmunks are happy, hear them? Wow. Check out this massive tree. Look at that. That's big. Look at this baby. I ain't got the time to count them rings. But check this view too. It's so pretty out here. I'm coming near a road. I think I'm near Sheffield, Connecticut. I've been belting at the top of my lungs, not realizing I'm in people's backyards. <laughs> house right there <laughs> oh well I have gotten a couple of compliments from other day hikers so I feel good about that found a new profession when I get off trail yelling in the woods well sometimes you gotta love the internet and social media I'm on a Facebook page that's an Appalachian Trail through hikers uh, page so I made a post this morning just asking if uh, anyone had any advice or if they could help out with my Sawyer bags that I got a hole in. And I got a lot of different responses, <laughs> basically people's opinions about Sawyer bags and what I should use instead of a Sawyer bag. But there were a couple helpful comments, one of them from a lady named Bridget who 
uh, has hiked some of the AT and said that she, you know, has a great respect for the people that do it and wanted to help out. She's in New York state and I guess has like a retailer near her that sells Sawyer products. So she agreed to go pick me up some spare bags and she's either going to meet me or she'll just drop them off at a parking area at Falls Bridge or Falls Village, uh, Connecticut, which she said is like, like an hour drive for her, which is incredible. So she's going to drive to a store, buy me something, drive it an hour north and then drive back home. That's what a trail angel is right there. That's the beauty of humanity. That's why I always give people, I don't know, the opportunity to impress you. And by golly, that's impressive. So all this trail magic I've received, I'm definitely gonna pay it back in some way when I'm done. So it's such a simple thing, just running to the store for somebody, but it's water. It's what I need every day. And I can't get there from here or it'd be an even more major inconvenience to get off trail. And if someone's willing to help me out like this, then man, I owe it to the world, to the collective, to pay that energy back and to bring someone else's day joy. I just have an extra pep in my step knowing that, you know, my problem will be fixed shortly. So, I just wanted to say that I love humans. There's some faulted ones, but in general, most people are good and they want to do good things. Check out this rock. How does this end up here naturally? This is like a monument. That's incredible. That's taller than me. Look at this. That's a big vertically standing rock that's been smoothed. Huh. That's probably nine feet tall. Some kind of sandstone. Huh. That's cool. That's cool and random. Moving on. That's what's weird is I find these things and it's like, if I just had a day, I will just hang out here. I got places to go. <laughs> So I'll look at something for a minute and keep on trucking. Hey everybody. Look at this view. What a lovely field. Ah, leaving the field. One last view though. Ain't that something. First of all, I have to say, if you doubt humanity and you want to restore your faith in your fellow man, start hiking. The people in the hiking community are some of the best people I have ever met. Some of the most generous people, the most helpful, thoughtful, considerate people. I just met Bridget and her friend Janet, who are from New York. I'm in Connecticut right now. They drove about an hour to bring me supplies, a new water bottle filter that I needed, but they also were generous and brought a whole bunch of snacks. I have fresh apples, honey sticks, uh, some meat packets, some protein bars, and it's a crazy small world that we live in because Janet's son goes to school in the town that I grew up in. And I told her she's going to visit her son this weekend who's on the football team. 
and I told her where my parents' house is. And I said, you go knock on that door and you go ask, do you have a son that's hiking? And just, I, it was just amazing, just amazing. Um, yeah, I'm in very good spirits. Thank you, Janet and Bridget for helping me out of a bind. I hope you see this someday. If not, I'm putting good vibes into the world for you. And it was very nice meeting you and chatting with you. <sighs> it's a good day.